All right, guys. So what we got today, well, what we did yesterday was my kid assembled this, the all the links, center link, uh, inner and outer tie rod ends. Now we just need to measure them up, you know, get them close. Because we're going to obviously go get the truck aligned after we put it all back together. Um, yeah, we, uh, yesterday, we ended up putting a leveling kit in. Ball joints in. It's not installed yet. I gotta get a. I should have just taken the lower control arm off and pressed it in. But whatever. I got anxious, so we put the leveling kit in. Um, what we ended up doing was using the scissor jack here, like from a car. Scissor jack, you know, jacking the center of the truck up, obviously. Um, removing the jack stand, lowering this, this is, it bug me, but this is the interior paint, and it won't come off, I've tried scraping it off, um, that's what that adhesion promoter does, makes it stick, it didn't stick to my skin, but it's stuck to my nail, but anyways, so yeah, so we took the scissor jack, we lowered this down, Pulled the spring out, pulled the, or pulled the shock out, pulled the spring out, um, cleaned the seat down in there, stuck the leveling kit in there, and then, uh, yeah, pretty much uh, reversed the process, stuck everything back in there, raised the jack, attached these, attached the shock, and that's pretty much it. So... And then we still have to replace the steering shaft. Oh man, we have a beat. I'm getting beat up. And then you gotta take all all this part for the injection pump, the V injection pump. We gotta take it all apart because we gotta take gotta get this off. This is where the fuel pin sits. And then down in there somewhere is where the spring sits. So, <clears throat> and then we gotta take this off. I'm gonna take the power steering pump off. And then take there off. I don't know if he already started. The bolt is missing, maybe. I don't, know. I don't know what he did. I don't know if he already started doing that. But, yeah. So, we'll have to do that. Then, you know, we're going to take the tube off. So, we'll have more access in there. Because this is all coming off anyways. So, he, my kid's going to get up this morning. Uh, my wife and me, we're going to go to Harbor Freight. I'm going to buy some long wrenches, some bigger wrenches, because the biggest wrench I have, um, my wrench set goes to 15 sixteenths, I believe, 15 sixteenths and 19 millimeter, so, and, uh, yeah, so I'll probably get some, uh, little assortment things too, that slide in. So it takes up less room, so because I'm gonna get long wrenches, I'm gonna keep these wrenches obviously, and then I'm gonna get long wrenches from Harbor Freight. Uh, and these are all just wrenches I've accumulated over the years of stuff being on sale. You know, Stanley ratchet wrench, these are gear wrench on the I like and dislike about gear wrench or these ones anyways um, I like that when you stick this on a nut you know in the bolt or whatever like like so let's say the shocks because the long a long stud on the shock um, these will sit and rest 
on the actual nut and it won't fall through and then you have to lift it up to get it or to keep it on the nut this will stay on the nut so i like that but then i don't like this because i like to use the wrenches you know if i'm working on something i like to try to use the wrenches like this you know because if you're in the frame rail or whatever um like when i was doing the uh the uh transmission um the support bar cross member I needed to use the wrenches like this um, and it was a 11 16 which I have a 11 16 but it's not ratchet so then I was like okay well I got a 17 ratchet but then I couldn't do it because I couldn't stick it in underneath there like that to get to it you know and the nut would be here Anyways, so there's pros and cons to that, but anyways, so I'm going to go get some organizers, um, some organizer thing, imagers, and, uh, some long wrenches, I'm going to try to get some socket organizers, um, and hopefully maybe try to use, utilize this drawer. For sockets because this is all my half inch drive stuff um, you know whatever half inch ratchets torque wrench um, like apparently the kid likes to just throw stuff in here but anyways and then you know I got all the 3 8 inch here and I got my impact stuff here and these are, what are these, three quarter inch drive sockets, um, and then quarter inch stuff, and Allen wrenches, and whatever, whatever, and then just a junk drawer, and then screwdrivers and stuff, and then pliers and scissors and stuff and then all my drill stuff sits up here along with a bunch of other junk um and then I use I'll probably take the screwdrivers out of there and put them in this and use this toolbox this is my original toolbox I think no my original toolbox is in the bottom um this one I got from a homeowner when I was working on their house. They're like, oh, you want a toolbox? Um, I don't know what happened. There, somebody bought some toolboxes and she needed to get rid of them, so she gave me a toolbox. I was like, all right, sweet. Um, and I had that in my work truck forever. And it just made so much noise, I hated it. <laughs> all the tools would rattle. Everything would rattle in it. So I took it off. Um, but yeah, so my kid's going to vacuum out the interior. Because uh, we've got a lot of the stuff painted. Um, I think he put some of the stuff in the room. But we've got a lot of the trim painted. Um, this paint works really good on fingernails. I've been scraping on this stupid thing stupid stuff anyways so while we're gone we're gonna go to vato zone pick up uh upper control arm bushings uh rotors and pads and i think that's it for the truck and then uh my kid can put the exhaust on he already started putting the exhaust on, but he can finish doing it, which I'm sure he's going to need help. So when I get home, um, yeah, when I get home, I'll help him with, with putting that all on. And then we're going to lay out the vinyl carpet stuff. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's got a lot of work. Still a lot of work. Barely even put a dent in all this stuff. Um, because we have to... What else was there? 
I gotta paint the dashboard. Paint the dashboard, paint these back seat things. The front seats, we're gonna get seat covers. Seat belt things, I gotta paint. These side window pieces, I gotta paint. I'm trying to think. Oh, we got the killer dowel pin to put in. <sighs> Which is all this stuff. That's the. That's the fuel pin. I don't know what stage it is or if they even call it a stage. Um, it doesn't look too aggressive. Which is good. Some of them are like super thin. Are super thin right in here. Um, and I don't know if they call them stage one, two, three, or four. But hopefully, whatever it is, it's a stage two at the most. Because it's a 3200 uh, RPM Governor Spring. So. Anyways, so we gotta put that in. We gotta pull the power steering all apart. I gotta wire up the. The. Whatchamacallit? The trans cooler. I still have the rear diff. We gotta change the rear diff fluid. We gotta do the front, the killer dowel pin, the timing cover set, seal, all that stuff. Um, yeah, and I bought a bunch of wire from uh, Home Depot. So, I got black, black, white, Green, blue, and red. So, we got that. I bought this little set here. If it'll open. This little torque. Well, they call it max fit. But supposedly, this stupid little yellow thing, which probably doesn't do anything, but it says it adds torque to the screw. Something or other. Uh, I was reading another package and it was saying something about it applies, the twisting applies more torque. And I'm like, okay. Um, yeah, but whatever, it was like $12, so, so, it was like 12 bucks, whatever, came with all that, I needed it, because here I don't have any, and I should have bought two of them, because in Colorado, when I'm working, I don't have any more bits. I got more bits. I don't have the little holder. Um, I also bought this half inch to three eighths inch adapter because broke my last one right here. Snap that off. Actually broke that. I broke a Craftsman extension and I broke another extension right here just to get the timing <clears throat> the timing to do the timing belt on my car my Acura so the uh, harmonic balancer bolt as everybody should know they're like I don't know it's JB welded in there. Um, anyway, so I broke all that stuff getting it out and ended up having to use a really big, I think it's a, a three quarter inch breaker bar with uh, some other Mickey Mouse junk I did and finally broke it loose. But yeah, that, that breaker bar. Um, but yeah, for the most part, 
for the most part, I just gotta go get more tools and more organizing, organizational stuff. Um, and hopefully, the wife gets up so we can go get there early, get out of there before it gets hot. Because we gotta go Harbor Freight, about the zone. Because I need more interior paint too. And we gotta go to uh, the gym, try to sign my wife up at the gym. She, oh man. She had a gym membership um, a long time ago. But, anyways, so we're gonna go try to see how much a gym membership's gonna cost again. I remember right, it was like 30 something bucks, which I think is a rip off for a gym membership. But whatever. Um, anyways. Yep, so it's coming along. We'll get there. And I'm actually supposed to leave. Today's Friday. I'm actually supposed to leave next Sunday. So we'll see if that happens. So. Anyways, there you go, there's the downpipe already. Alright guys, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe.